Hey guys, what's going on? Roach GDC back again with another episode of my Minecraft Let's Build, Let's Play. And we're going to kill this spider. First of all, because he is bothering the crap out of me. There we go. And on today's episode, a uh, quick update before we get started. Uh, we are home, no longer exploring, and as promised, we're going to work on some villager stuff today. But you can see I am wearing a iron chest piece. We're going to take that off for now. I don't need it anymore. I was doing some record farming, and I might show you guys what I was doing in the next episode, but this one, we're going to stay away from that because I just had kind of like a bad time, and, well, not a bad time, but there was, there was an incident that I'd rather not talk about. So, we're going to stay away from that for now. Uh, we can see that the pig has finally fallen. I think I was coming off of the hill. I jumped down. Didn't want to take fall damage, I don't know why, so instead I jumped onto that uh, platform right there where the pig was uh, staying and knocked him off. So I think what I want to do is put him back because I'm just so used to having him up there that if he's not, well I just don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Um, otherwise, not much else has changed. I added some, some trees up here. Uh, these ones don't need five five rows like the acacia, uh, birch, and regular oak trees do. Another tall one. Great. Um, because they give so much wood. Like, look how tall this tree is. Do you, do you guys realize that this is almost two stacks of spruce logs right here? That to me, like, when I chopped these down a couple times, I was just like, holy cow, I'm never gonna need, never gonna need to grow any more spruce trees besides, like, a couple every so often when I actually work with them. And then the dark oak, for a while I was having troubles uh, getting enough saplings from the leaves for the dark oaks, but eventually eventually it all worked out, and now I've got plenty of dark oak saplings. Well, not plenty. I should get plenty, continuing on. And spoilers already, you can see I have a horse and a couple donkeys down there. So listen, guys. You know how I said I wasn't going to try to do any more like big discoveries off camera? Well, after I ended off the last episode, I made it to a desert. I didn't find anything while recording, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stop recording, come back on another day, and just go home. Now, I thought I was taking the same route I took to get to the desert, but apparently not. It was more like an oval instead of like a straight line or a straight curve. So, I passed through a different plains biome or a different something biome and came across a bunch of horses, and this guy is a pretty decent horse. And like watch me ride him for a little bit yeah I was just like Are you kidding me I couldn't find this on camera because of course I wasn't recording at the time and then I found a couple more donkeys or a couple donkeys as well as a lot more horses I found so many horses it's ridiculous um, I think I'm gonna try to show a screenshot right here if I remember and if the editing works properly uh, you'll see some horses off to the right of my screen and I'm looking at one directly. I think I found literally every single color of horse you could imagine. And uh, yeah, that was a blast. I'm like, great, well, that's one discovery these guys won't get to see. Or see my reaction to. And on my way back to bringing these guys home, I was, and side note, I had two leads and there was a big ocean, <laughs> excuse me, a big ocean in between my home and where I was. So I grabbed these two donkeys by the lead, and I was pushing this horse through the big ocean. It was a giant pain in the butt, but you'll see on hopefully this screenshot that I discovered a ocean temple. You can see like the four uh, underwater lights. I'm not sure what they're called at the top of my head. I never really worked with them. But I found an ocean temple, and I was just like, well, there's something else that these guys don't get to see either. So sorry about that, guys. I hope hope that doesn't bother you too much. Um, we still have a mesa we need to discover together. We've got a jungle that we need to discover together. Always can find some packed ice together, whatnot. Oh, and uh, one more thing, one more thing. Uh, I accidentally uh, brewed a potion off camera. So I have brew a potion, local brewery taken. Uh, because I went into... Where are they? Um, oh, I collected some leaves. No big deal. Uh, yeah, I brewed some fire potions, and I've only used one, because I wanted to collect a bunch more of these blaze rods. Um, just so that I knew I had them, because I think, uh, yes, we've got four ender, or eye of ender, and we've got 
six more ender pearls. Hopefully with that amount we can find a stronghold pretty soon here. I would like to go and fi or, uh, find it and fight that dragon relatively fast. Maybe get an ender farm made because I don't know if I want to do it for XP. I'd almost rather, excuse me, I would almost rather much have just like a constant flow of ender pearls. Um, I don't, I don't think I love them as much as Etho, but Etho has truly shown me how great ender pearls can be. Um, but like I said, today's episode we're gonna be working on the village area, and I think what we're gonna make is a general store because uh, I think I've told you that the zombies killed a bunch of my villagers and I was pretty upset because I lost a couple of my farmers and like three or four of my librarians so I've only got one librarian left and no farmers and if we go inside you can tell I've lost a farmer because I've just got a stockpile of wheat and I've got a stockpile of carrots and potatoes so I need a farmer to trade with, like, ASAP. Oh, and also uh, a little bit of pumpkin stock and uh, melon stock. Excuse me. Another voice crack. I think I might want to... Well, I think that farm works for now. I'm going to leave it as is. But eventually we're going to be building bigger and bigger farms. Um, because I, I love trading with the villagers. I don't know why, but seeing uh, seeing this chest here. Like, seeing just this amount of emeralds in my chest is not okay. That's just two blocks. And with plans I have, at least with this general story event, I'm going to need more than two blocks. So, um, what was I going to say? Lost my train of thought. So yeah, we're going to build a general store to keep a couple of our more important villagers safe and sound from any zombie attacks. So I'm going to gather up the materials and I will see you guys over in the, oops, I, I will see you guys over in the, the village in just a second. So sit tight. All right, guys. So we are back, and uh, this is where we're gonna have the general store in this area. You can see there's some dirt here because I did some terraforming. Um. Okay. Nope. There we go. Yeah. So I placed a ton of dirt here. There was a uh, kind of a not a deep crater, but a shallow crater that was pretty wide, and I needed to flatten it out to make this building happen. So. Uh, I hope it's alright with you guys. I don't know if you remember the crater, if you loved it, but it's gone. So, deal with it. Something better will be taking its place. Um, and now that I see this over here, this might need to get filled in. Uh, we'll see. Also, a little side note. Uh, happy accident when I did terraforming was this little shallow area here. That would be kind of nice for a garden, I was thinking. Uh, we'll see what happens, though. I'm not sure, because... Yeah, I just haven't planned for that yet. So I'm thinking the entrance is going to be uh, somewhere about here. Uh, it's going to be a little little pushed back from the sidewalk or the gravel road. Uh, you can see this building is right on the road, and the buildings I've made are usually one block away. I think this one's going to be, let's see, three or four possibly. I haven't really planned that part out yet. But I want to find building location first, or like at least where it's going to go in this direction. If we look at the coordinate, oop, of course I hit F5. We hit F3, where it's going to go in the Z. Yeah, which Z line it's going to go on. So, i got to count this out here. The building is 12 blocks, or 14 blocks wide, technically. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so it's odd. That's too bad the building's not odd. Um, I think I'm going to put it one block closer to that building. Don't know why. Probably because we're going to expand in that direction, whereas over here, not a lot of great land to expand to, plus the desert's right beyond the hills there. So I guess I do have a reason why. Um, and the building is pre-made. I uh, went into a creative world and did some messing around with it. Um, and I think that's how I'm going to do most of my episodes from now on. Like, I I did the exploration stuff. That was kind of me spot or spontaneously trying to come up with topics to talk about. It didn't work out too well. I don't know. It just felt like it was a lot of dead dead conversation you guys didn't need to know about. Um, but anyway, most of, most of the episodes are going to be uh, 
three planned now, so look forward to that, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is where I was thinking it was going to go. Right about there, and uh, of course I don't have any materials on me. Let's get started with uh, gravel. Okay, let's get started with some cobblestone. I'm going to get that much. I don't know how much I'm going to need. Probably about that much. Actually, it's kind of a bigger building. It's bigger than I thought it would be, and in creative, you never know how many blocks you use, but when you get to survival, it's going to be probably a lot. So let's see. Two, two, three, four. Let's try four blocks back. Two, three, four. Let's make sure again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it starts. It starts on this block here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I can deal with that. Uh, that doesn't need to be hobbled though. I don't think. Break that. Uh, we'll just leave it as a mar. Yeah, we'll take it out. We'll take it out. I don't want to. I don't want to mess anything up with my plans. Uh, we'll click, quickly fill it in. Okay, and uh, is it already? No, it's not getting nighttime. I'm losing my mind. All right, so and just like the building pre-planned, my topic for today is pre-planned as well. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. This might just work out nicely. Okay. Uh, last episode during the exploration, you guys. Heard me quickly say um, that I am no longer an engineering student, which I am happy with my decision. I don't regret uh, not continuing with engineering. Does it is a little unfortunate because I took some classes I didn't need to, and kind of a waste of credit, waste of time. But you know, it's better than me being stuck with a career that I hate. So I I'm okay with it. I really am. And I wanted to just kind of explain to you guys more why I'm stopping engineering. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not like anything complicated, but I kind of I felt like you guys deserved to know more. I quickly uh, went over the topic and just kind of didn't say anything else about it. So, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, sorry guys. Um, I got to just quickly count out this twenty here, and I can continue my talk. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah. Pretty sure that's 20 right there. Let's double check. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes, okay, it is. So, I am done with engineering. Um, some... Nobody might be asking why. Why are you stopping engineering? Well, to be honest, it was just I didn't like it. Hated it, honestly. Um, a lot of the classes I took sucked. Um, didn't didn't uh, find anything I was learning interesting at all. A lot of the professors I took didn't. I wasn't a big fan of. I won't say any names or like why I didn't like them. Just wasn't really for me. Uh, and. And this might sound lazy, but the amount of work that engine like okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys what my major was and what my current major is just just so I don't know why I just feel like maybe that might be the best choice right now. Um, but yeah, my uh, my major was chemical engineering. I was a chemical engineering major. And I am no longer a chemical engineering major. I am now just a pure chemistry major. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the amount of work that I needed to do for chemical engineering was absurd in my mind. It was like hours and hours a day of problem sets, group work, exams, and studying. It, I Maybe it's just me being too lazy for engineering. I don't know what it is, but honestly, it just wasn't for me. I wasn't enjoying engineering. Um, my 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 classes just didn't interest me. There's like talks about plate deficiency and all this other boring stuff I didn't care about. Now, why does this look already wrong? Um, does that side look bigger? One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. If it does, that would be why. Well, that's an easy pick. Let's we'll take out one more strip here. Uh, but yeah, maybe it was just me being lazy, but the classes were so much, so much work, and for stuff that I didn't care about, like plate efficiencies and um, uh, what else did we talk about? It was just so boring. Like my my last semester, my favorite class was uh, physical chemistry, quantum mechanics. Now, a lot of people like kind of stereotype me like everyone cringes for that class. But I found it super interesting. A, it was actually really cool to learn about stuff like that. And if you ever take it, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, is like uh, studying how a single atom like functions by itself. Um, but it was, like, if that was so much more interesting to me than my engineering classes, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Um, yeah, my, my interest was just not there for engineering. I didn't have a passion to continue, uh, with what I was doing. And we're gonna leave that for now. You guys will see why in a little bit. We're gonna work at night. We're not afraid of any, uh, any mobs or anything like that. But yeah, that's not where my passion was. Engineering was not for me, uh, so I switched over to chemistry. Um, not sure what I'm going to do yet with my life with just chemistry, but we'll see what happens. I, I can tell you right now, I don't plan on going to grad school. I know some people are going to. Some of my friends are in chemistry. Some are going to grad school and other majors. I'm just kind of done being in school right now. If I find a job, I can at least, I, I don't know, I don't want to say tolerate, but pretty much tolerate for... Uh, see. Sorry, uh, quickly gonna just do something here. Um, put the grass away. Let's put the dirt away. That one lonely seed away. And I'm gonna need probably more than this, aren't I? 16. Um, where's 8, uh, no. 18, yeah. Make just some more. We need trap doors, obviously. You guys can see that here. Uh, that's going to be the main aisle of the floor. Um, whoops. Jeez, I'm so bad at this. Yeah, that's going to be the main, like, kind of carpentry, the entryway. Um, and there's going to be another block. I'm already out. Awesome. There's going to be another block down there. It's not going to be grass. And I will go into the creative world and show you guys what I had planned. Uh, to be underneath there and like the final building if I don't get it done today. I don't know how long I've been recording and I'm, I'm not sure how long this episode's gonna be. Uh, and I just keep staring. I should actually do something if I'm gonna do it. See, I probably only need like four of these. 16, hopefully that works. No, I need more than four. I'm stupid. Uh, let's do eight more. Okay. Let's do that. Da 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 da. Da. 16. That should be enough. <clears throat> this night's a perfect shade of dark blue, dark blue. Sorry, um, it's Michael, Justin, and Henry. Michael, Justin. Michael, Henry, and Justin Robinette coming up again in my head. Honestly, I do love those guys a lot. They are some amazing, amazing vocalists. Um, let's see. I'm really sporadically building this building, I know. Um,. I had the idea in my head, or I had it figured out layout-wise, and I can't remember now exactly what the building looks like. <clears throat> and I'm not even sure how long this episode is. Um, I wish I could tell. I didn't even keep track of how long I was recording. Let's just keep going. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to be. Maybe it'll be a longer episode, but I'd like to get more progress done than what I have done. So we're going to need. Probably the rest of this wood right here, we're going to take, and we're just going to turn it into uh, planks. Now, I think 
the front of the building is mostly, oops, cobblestone. Not mostly, but the first two layers are definitely cobblestone. I remember that. I want to say that's right. Um, oh man, I should really go back and look. This is so bad. I'm so sorry, guys. Let me just see if I can do this without looking. That's going to be the goal. It's going to be the goal. No looking at the creative world. Because I don't think you guys would appreciate me going back every single time and looking at um, how a building looks. So, let's just take half, 30 of these and make some half slabs. <sighs> We're going to need them. And do that. Do this. And it's looking pretty much right so far. What did I need? Stairs? Yeah, I need stairs as well. It's amazing. Like, I always like to have... Uh, one sec. I always like to have these things on my bar. Like, this is the, the layout of my hot bar. I always like this. But now that I'm looking at what I'm going to need on my hot bar to actually build this building kind of fast, I'm going to have to just put this all pretty much up. Which is kind of kind of weird to me. I'm not used to not having these things on my hot bar. So, uh, nope. Great. You now I'm gonna need these two things on my hot bar again. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I should just quit now. Okay. So we got this going. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to build this up a little higher. Do 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 do. Okay, so that looks decent so far. Um, do, do, do. Okay, I just want to get a lot of materials made. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to put away this, 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 and that. Uh, we're going to get out a few of these. Don't need you on my bar. Could use it, you on my bar. Let me get out that. We're not working with uh, cobblestone quite yet, so we're not going to need the pickaxe on the bar. Fences I want. Get more of this stuff. There we go. And we'll leave some maroon cobble, actually. So, um, we'll bring the crafting bench with us. <clears throat> and I know it'll be, it'll be out of the way over here, so let's place it down. There, and that. Okay, so, sorry for the distraction, guys, uh, but this is going to be kind of a new process for me. So this is how it's going to look starting out. This is like the bare, like, you can kind of see a villager is going to sit behind here like this, and we're going to trade with them. Simple as that, right? Well, then you might be wondering, well, Kyle, uh, how can you keep them back here if you just will do that and jump out? Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, my friend. Um, we're gonna just do that, 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 and that, that, that. Okay, I don't have enough. See, this is why I brought the crafting bench with me. <sighs> do that. Okay, so. So now, I can't get in, he can't get out, unless I open the trap door for him, which I will never do, because he's gonna be nice and cozy in there. He's never going to want to leave. Ever. And we'll do this. Nope. Great. Now I said I didn't need the pickaxe on the bar. I need the pickaxe on the bar. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. So that's the kind of look I'm going for. I added a little bit of a slope to... Was it this, this? Uh, no. What it was. Okay. Was that... And, oop, 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 okay, and that, okay, seriously, let's go. And then, you know, this is a lot easier to build in creative mode, I'm telling you that right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, so that's kind of the look I'm going for. And, uh, these fences kind of add some warmth on top, and they are going to be attached to... Oh, I already got some on the hot bar. Awesome. 
They're going to be attached to logs because it's going to be like this stone um, stone covering is... Come on. Great. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. It's going to be like the stone awning is going to be uh, waiting for or attached to a beam going across the whole building. So when I was building it, I wanted it to look structurally sound as well. And now that I look at this, this looks wrong as well. I think what it was was two more stairs. Yes, I can reach that from down or up here. That's awesome. That's... I need some more stairs. I think what it was was like another stair here and another stair here. And then... Excuse me. And then some half slabs there and there. So let's see if that looks right to me. Yeah, that looks right. Now, you might be wondering, like, why I have it like this? Why don't I just, like, block them in? And uh, I don't know. Like, this I find kind of cozy uh, for both the villager... And, well, not so much the villager, not yet at least. What I found out later was that uh, this, come on, <clears throat> excuse me, that this look right here with the logs in between him was much more cozy looking. Uh, I don't know why it looked cozier to me, but now it kind of looks like the co- oh my gosh, I cannot talk, I cannot place blocks, I'm useless. Now it kind of looks like the villager is nice and cozy in there. He's like hugged by these two logs, he's hugged by this, and he's got a decent amount of room to still move around and walk. You know, he's not completely trapped in a one-by-one -one space. Uh, I will show you guys the final, or the, you know, this episode's kind of going a little long, maybe. Um, this might be a decent start for the day, or for this episode at least. Next episode we can work on it as well, and I might have another topic to discuss, or continue talking about engineering I know I didn't do a whole lot of detail into it but it's like I said not too complicated um, it just wasn't for me not my passion not what I'm passionate about um, yeah and to finish my original thought before I got sidetracked the villagers uh, cozy in there he's hugged by the logs and like the trader the customer me is kind of hugged by uh, these two stairs here, and he's not suffocated as soon as he gets in. There's like a two and a half block uh, height difference that you can see. It just kind of looks looks intimidating at first because you can't see, or like you walk right under the roof. But then it's like all snuggly in here with cold stone and dead wood, if that makes any sense. I don't know. But anyway, I think that'll do it for this episode. Little little less progress than I wanted to get done today. Um, next episode, I think we're going to solely focus on, and I wasn't moving because I had my arms like raised in a Y formation. Uh, I got to stop talking with my hands so much, otherwise you guys will never see me move. Uh, but next episode, we are going to be working more on this, and I will maybe have another topic to discuss. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, and just don't judge this quite yet. You gotta see the final product first, because I really, I really love it. Um, as opposed to my first general store that I made for the villagers, I, I absolutely loved it. So, hope you guys are having a good day, and I will see you on the next episode. Take care. Bye.